We're asked to use the graph to find the slope of the two lines. The slope of a line is equal to the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change between any two points on the line. It's also often referred to as the ratio of the rise to the run. Looking at the graph of the line below, let's determine the slope using the two points plotted on the line. If we move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we first have to move up two units, which means the vertical change or rise is positive two. And then from here, we have to move right four units, which means the horizontal change or run is positive four. And therefore the slope, and we often use the variable m for slope, is equal to two over four or two fourths, which simplifies to one half. Now it doesn't matter which two points we use to determine the slope of a line, the slope will always be the same. For example, if we use this point at the origin and this point here, to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we have to move up one unit, which means the vertical change or rise is positive one. And then from here we have to move right two units, which means the horizontal change or run is positive two. Notice how this still gives us a slope of one over two or one half. Now going back to our example, we first need to select two convenient points to find the slope. For example, let's use this point here and this point here. It's always best to use points where the x and y coordinates are integers. And now we'll determine the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change moving from the point on the left to the point on the right. But notice how we first have to move down three units, which means the vertical change or rise is negative three. And then from here we have to move right one unit, which means the horizontal change or run is positive one. This blue line is labeled L sub one. So let's label the slope M sub one. M sub one is equal to, again, the ratio of the rise to the run or vertical change to horizontal change, which would be negative three over one, which equals negative three. So once we write the slope as a fraction, we should simplify it whenever possible. And now let's find the slope of the red line, which we'll call M sub two. First step is to find two convenient points on the line. Let's go ahead and use this point, and let's say this point. To move from the point on the left to the point on the right, we have to move up two units, which means the vertical change or rise is positive two. And then from here, we have to move right six units, which means the horizontal change or run is positive six. And therefore the slope is equal to two six, which simplifies to one third. Let's look at one more example that's more challenging. We're asked to determine the slope using the two given points. What makes this more challenging is known as how the y coordinates are decimals. So if we want to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we have to move down a certain number of units and then right a certain number of units. Let's see if we can determine the vertical change. We'll notice how the y coordinate at this point is 5.25. So to go from this point down to the x axis, that would be down 5.25 units. But then we have to go down further and notice how the y coordinate of this point is negative 2.25. So we have to go down 5.25 plus 2.25 units, which means we went down 7.5 units, which means the vertical change is negative 7.5. From here we have to move right six units, which means the horizontal change or run is positive six. And therefore in this case the slope m is equal to the rise or vertical change is negative 7.5 over the run or horizontal change, which is six, negative 7.5 divided by six is equal to negative 1.25. I hope you found this helpful.